Hey, what's up, guys? Pastor Stephen here. I hope you had a great weekend and enjoyed the service yesterday. Today is Monday, day number eight of our 21 days. And this is the, fir the first day of the second week. And this week we are focused on love. And on day eight, we are focusing on our love for God. Now, it can be very easy, especially being a veteran Christian, to where we spend our time serving and serving and serving. And if you've ever been married or in a relationship for an extended amount of time, you understand that you can get so caught up in just doing life with someone, you forget to love them freshly and, and be like a, a newlyweds all over again. It's, it's very easy to just take someone for granted because they're always there. And personally for me, and I feel that we do in the church, that we, we're so used to God always being there and always showing up that we forget just to stop and thank him for who he is and thank him for his love and fall in love with him all over again. Because if you've been married for a few years, five or more at least, you know that you have to be intentional about falling in love with that person all over again. Because if not, your eyes will start to wonder, your mind will start to wonder, your uh, thoughts can really run away from you in certain areas, and it can cause a separation in your marriage and in your relationships. And I, I feel that that is what we need to capture again so that the love for God can be rekindled and we can keep that fresh fire, that 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 fresh longing and, and thirsting and hungering for his righteousness and for his love and for... Um, for that relationship that he longs for us to do. We get caught up in denomination. We get caught up in, you know, all the fluff that Jesus spoke against in the Bible. We need to, to be actively seeking that love for God once again and keep that first in our hearts. So today's verse comes from Luke 10, 27, and this is the New Living Translation. It says, <clears throat> excuse me, the man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Today, we live in a time where everyone is out for themselves, and they love themselves first, and then they have trouble loving God, because themselves, them, them gets in the way of him. And there's a reason that this scripture is in this order. You must love the Lord your God with all of your heart. Because where your heart is, there your soul lies. And that's where you draw your strength from. And that's where your mind goes to. And so the reason it's in this order, love God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your strength, with all of your mind. All these things add up to a clean, pure relationship and love for God. And then when you have these things lined up, it's not hard to love your neighbor. It's not difficult to love someone you've never met before. The the way I can describe a love for God and and a love for others and a love your neighbor as you love yourself is that when I first held my son, like when he was born, I my dad tried to describe it to me, other people tried to to tell me kind of what it was going to be like and what to expect. But nothing felt, nothing measured up to the description that people gave me or tried to, to tell me how it was going to be of when I first held him in my arms. You know, I teared up and I was a, I was a big baby and it was, it was something that I never, I never thought that I would, I would feel this measure of love to someone I had never met before. And so that, if you've ever had a child... Try to grasp that for your neighbor. And it's difficult, but we don't love because we are love. God is love. We love because he first loved us. We forgive because he forgave us. We, we seek out those that are lost because he sought after us. 
And we, when we get our heart right, when we get our soul right, when we get our strength on point, when we get our mind corrected, then it's not hard to love the neighbor that this verse tells us to do. So I, I just want to remind you to be active in your love and seeking God with that new fresh love. Because if you've ever come to know the Lord in that first, you know, months or years and stuff, you're like, yeah, let's go save the world. And I feel that in our church, we have got so comfortable with that love of God that we take him for granted and we're not actively seeking God and 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 seeking to love him like we used to because he's always around. He always comes to the rescue and we end up taking the love that God has for us for granted. And I'm guilty of this too. This is not a 21 day of people telling you how to do better. This is a 21 day of people in our church being real and sharing with you that we are all sinners. We all are saved by grace. We all have the same love of God available for us that there is none above the other. Not at the top of our church with the lead pastor all the way down to just somebody who comes that doesn't know God. All of us are on the same level in God's eyes. He has all of this love available for all of us. So in this time right now, this is on point. We have got to love our neighbor no matter what they look like, no matter what they uh, disagree with us about, no matter what their politic view is, political view, no matter what they say is right or wrong or denomination, we got to tear down these walls and get real because none of that matters in the kingdom of God. So if you will pray with me that we can reconnect with God again, that we can find our love again that will that will just come bursting out of us onto the people that we don't know. The unlovable, that's who Jesus went after. He, he would eat with the liars and the cheaters and he loved them because that's why he was here. That's why he came. This same purpose needs to be our purpose, to show the love of God. And we can only do that when we love him with all of our heart then we can love those that he told us to love. It doesn't become a challenge anymore. It becomes an enjoyment. It becomes fulfillment because we know that we're undeserving of it, but yet he gives it. He knew yesterday what we were gonna mess up on today and he still loves us every day. His mercy and his grace are new. So let's show the mercy and grace to those who don't believe like we believe, who don't look at things the way we look at things, they're the people we should be loving the hardest and loving the most. We should not be letting that, that right now is such a political climate. We should not be letting the politics divide us, but let it drive us to love them even harder to show that not everyone who says they love God is the same. And that we can show that love and it will it will shed away all the junk that is trying to keep putting up walls between us. So let's pray together uh, in, in a, a, a renewing and a refreshing love of God like we have never felt before, that people that don't know God can see that in us and can be something that they desire because they, under, they see it and they're like, that's, that's love? Other people say they know love, but I've never seen someone act like this. And, and you care for me to talk to me with no hidden agenda? So let's pray together. Let's believe together. Let's seek after God for a new and a, a refreshing of his love every single day. Lord, we come to you right now. We ask God that you continue to strengthen us on this 21 day of fasting and prayer. And that God, we be intentional to seek and hunger and thirst after your righteousness, that God, we don't let your love in us die, that we become stale and stagnant and complacent and, and comfortable in our little in our little world, and we don't we don't care to reach out and try to try to love those with the love that you have given us. God, open our eyes to opportunities. God, help us to have a fresh new love for you, a fresh new desire to love you every day. And not just to love you, but to love our neighbor, no matter what that looks like. God, help us to tear down the walls 
that we have been building up selfishly. God, help us to be intentional in our love in our display of love so that they can see in us what you have done in us. The grace and the mercy that you have given us, God, help us to be gracious and merciful to others. We ask this in your name to help us start this second week to we show, be intentional to show love to those who don't know you and those that do in our communities, in our churches, in our families. God, help us to love them like you have loved us and help us to chase after you like we have never chased after you before with a love that is intentional, with a desire that is pure. God, help us in, the ne- in these next two weeks as we seek and pray for our church, our community, and our world. In your name we pray. Amen. Don't forget... Every night at 7 o'clock, we're going live on YouTube and we're going live on Facebook. Make sure if you want, if you have questions about what we're fasting, how you can fast, the reason we fast, you can go to connect-church.com forward slash 21 days and that will bring up the different choices of fasting. It will bring up, you'll have this in front of you. You can save it and click to, uh, to have it on your phone so you can look and have a reference of what day is coming up. And... We thank you for joining us tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow night.